Well, here we are at the centre of the British motor industry. Well, not quite, but almost. We're at the premises of Caterham, uh, the company from Dartford, Kent. Seems like an unlikely place to have a car company, doesn't it? But uh, this is where they're based. This is where they build the cars and very successfully too. Last week we looked at the Caterham 7, of course, the famous car from the days back right to 1957. Funny that, I date back to 1957, but anyway, this week we're not talking about the 7, we're talking about the 21, Caterham's latest model. It's another two-seater convertible, very much a convertible, uh, but the two cars really are chalk and cheese. Well, it's got Rover's 190 horsepower 1800cc K-series engine, which gives uh, a specific output of over 100 horsepower per litre. It's been developed over a four-year period by ourselves and um, Rover. Mm -hmm. That's then mated to our own inline lightweight alloy six-speed gearbox, mm -hmm. which we have designed and developed in order to heighten the driving pleasure of the Caterham experience, having a gear for every corner so you can have maximum fun, maximum enjoyment out mm. of the car. When we decided we were going to do a new car, Ian had already left us and I approached him and asked him whether he would be prepared to get involved. He's also famous for doing most of the artist's illustrations in the Autocar magazine, mm. and I've always liked his style. Mm. And uh, we ended up in my barn with a massive block of polystyrene, mm. styling the car with chainsaws. <laughs> What about that incredible noise? How do you do it? How do you take a humble K-series engine? I mean, I've driven Vipers and uh, uh, and other sort of genuine supercars. I was driving a Lamborghini the other day. And I've got to tell you, although the Viper does sound wonderful, uh, I think yours almost sounds better. Well, we... Uh that, uh, that particular engine runs on throttle body fuel injection, so what you're actually hearing is the air intake noise. Mm. And with the 7 and our heritage, a lot of people have, have, have uh, harked back to the noise, the intake noise that twin mm. Webers make. Mm. And with the throttle body fuel injection, we can recreate that on, mm. the, uh, on the Rover 190 horsepower engine. <laughs> With the 21, what we're looking at is applying traditional catering values of nimbleness, agility, responsiveness, fun to drive, in a package which is more practical than the 7, and mm. we hope and believe that it is a very sexy looking car as well. You put all that together and you've got a unique product. Well, the cars you see here in the Caterham car park have so much in common, but so little in common. We were driving the uh, Superlight last week with its K-Series 190 horsepower engine, this vehicle here, the Caterham 21, the Caterham for the 90s, has the same engine, the same horsepower, the same six-speed box, but a very, very different animal indeed. Chalk and cheese, you cannot compare the 7 with the 21. The 21 is the sort of car you could climb into on a, I don't know, a Friday afternoon and just thrash across Europe in. It's a true sort of GT car. It's got things like proper storage space for luggage and uh, we've even got a glove box here in this wonderful, wonderful interior. I just, just love this interior. The problem with this car is, of course, that you can, for £28,500, buy yourself something like a, a BMW Z3. It's actually cheaper to buy the Z3, the, at least the bottom of the range version, than it, than it is to buy this Caterham 21. Similarly, of course, with the uh, Rover MGF, far less money, but... I think you'll agree. I mean, the Z3 and the MGF can't touch the 21 in for, for uh, sheer on-the-road presence. I mean, you know, this is a very, very special limited edition car in the truest sense of the word. Very exclusive. Have you ever seen one on the road? For £28,500, not a bad buy at all.